All right, everybody, it's time to do some quarter panels on the Nova. Here they are in box. Um, first step, though, we got to get this fuel tank out, which is uh, on their factory fuel tank. Hopefully, the build sheet's on top of that, but uh, chances are it's not. But uh, yeah, I got to drain all the fuel out, put it in my truck, and then uh, drop that fuel tank, and then we can start cutting all this Bondo out and get welding on the new panels. Just to show everybody why I'm uh, doing new quarter panels, you might think this one actually looks pretty good besides the bubbles there, but uh, I got a magnet here and that is not magnetic. See that? That is not magnetic. All of this is Bondo. I don't know if you can see the color change right here. All that is Bondo. So that's why we're doing that. And then I also have the inner wheelhouse because uh, it's a little crunchy in there. And then we have a little tire rub issue up in here, right there. But uh, yeah, the other, the other side's even worse. Back here, we got a little bit in the back. That's Bondo too. And then over here, this side's just totally falling apart. So uh, same case over here, a lot of Bondo. But uh, as you can see, there, there's the brown. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do to make this uh, make this right again. So, for people that don't know what Bondo is, um, instead of like metal like this, see how that's magnetic? It's holding the magnet on the car. All this brown on here is Bondo, which is basically a paste you mix up and then uh, it hardens and you can paint over it. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that rubber fuel line? That's where I'm gonna be draining all the fuel out of the tank right here, right by the passenger door, and uh. I got it on jack so it should drain good, but uh, yeah. We got half a tank, which will be about 10 gallons. Hopefully it all fits in the truck because uh, it's got a full tank right now, but let's see. All right, we're still draining. If I put a light on this side, uh, you can see that line in the tank. We still got quite a ways to go, but. The truck is going to love this. Nova just uh, got rid of its first tank fill in the second right now, and it's at a uh, it's at a quarter tank, and this one's full, so we'll see. But uh, I honestly think I'm gonna have too much fuel here, so that might be an issue. But these things come with like a 22 gallon tank, about the same as that truck. Kind of nuts. Not really complaining though right now because in uh, right now it's. Uh, October 25th of 2021 and 93 what this thing takes because it's got a higher compression it's four dollars and fifteen cents a gallon so I'm not just gonna pour that out so uh, gonna have to do something with it all right the fuels fully drained so next we take out the tank do you guys see that little bracket going to the bumper right there on the bottom you can barely see it right this one so there's a bolt right here on my finger take that out that will make this filler neck loose and then uh, come under here we have one strap and two straps and then uh, yeah hopefully the fuel tank will uh, come out after that these wires right here look like uh, sending unit wires so we'll see uh, we'll see when we lower it a little bit and then uh, eventually I'm going to have to remove the lines but hopefully if I just get these these uh, straps and this filler neck loose I'll be able to drop enough and uh, get the fuel lines off yeah, but. so these bolts that are holding on the fuel tank straps are just rusted to hell um, I sprayed them with liquid wrench impact giant 3 8 breaker bar um, I ended up breaking the spot weld, like the nut is spot welded to a clamp. That broke off, so I got the jack under it right now. And I'm going to get the angle grinder out and then I'm going to cut the straps. There's that, uh, there's that strap. Other one's cut too. It's just hanging a little higher. So let's see if we can get that fuel tank out now by lowering the jack. I would be absolutely beyond stoked 
the original build sheet is on top of the gas tank. Because I know this tank's probably never been out before. And uh, sometimes GM put them on top of there. So, one, if it's on there, awesome. But two, if it survived the elements over these years, because this was a Chicago car, man. I got the numbers matching motor, so it's kind of a big moment to see uh, see if it's on there. So let's drop that tank. Well, everybody, some time has passed since the last clip because um, I have been uh, on my phone trying to decode it. But uh, that is the factory build sheet. I can't believe it. I mean, obviously, it didn't uh, didn't survive, but um, I can see a little bit where the car came from, some of the codes that it came with. Um, that's hard to decipher, but yeah, right now I'm just trying to figure out how to get off this rubber strap without destroying the paper or if I should just uh, Cut around the paper, but uh, I'm really not sure, but I really want to keep it nice. So I'm gonna have to think about it uh, how I'm gonna get it off, but uh, Here's a better look at that original build sheet. Uh, I was able to get it off of the fuel tank You can see there you can still see some of the info, but uh not a whole lot left, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go get a picture frame for this and then uh, keep it how it is. Pretty cool. Alright everybody, here is a better look at the underside now without the uh, gas tank in. You can see, I mean, there's some rust. I'm going to end up cutting all of that out um, and making my own trunk pan because they don't actually make a repop trunk pan for these cars. But uh, yeah, the frame and all that looks good, so... Yep, just going to have to... Uh, cut all this out and patch it and hopefully put a fuel cell in it. I don't think I'm going to put a factory tank back in it. Um, but yeah, all of this will be new and then uh, same with the quarter panels. Alright, a little update for everybody. I got the quarter panel out for this uh, passenger side here. Um, as you can see, it's got this weird, weird spot at the top where it goes flat. Not sure what Classic Industries was thinking there. My car doesn't have that. You might think it's this. It's not, it doesn't line up. But uh, I should be able to use this tape. I'm gonna make a mark on about six inches up from there. Um, Cause this is Bondo and you can see right there we start to get the good metal. So I'm gonna try to leave as much of the good metal as we can. But uh, we get back here and it gets pretty bad. Just better look at the trunk now that I got the door open. It is, uh, seen better days that right there is a uh, piece of sheet metal the previous owner riveted in so uh, it's been crunchy for a while so So, uh, there's the bumper. Four bolts on each side. Filler panel kind of got mangled, but uh, I'm going to be tucking the bumper anyways, so that's going to get cut up. So. so, I got the panel marked off where I need to cut. I don't know if you guys can see the lines, but uh, basically going to come up here all the way down and then uh, hopefully get rid of some of this rust back here too with this back piece. Haven't decided if I want to keep these or delete these yet, but. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it, and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut this panel up and then put it up to the car, mark the car up, cut it up, and then uh, we can start welding. This is always something I've wanted to do on this car, and now that I'm replacing it, it doesn't matter. Just look at all that Bondo, and look, it's just so soft. Like, look at that. Look at that. Bondo's cracking all the way out there. Man, that's kind of a thick amount of Bondo. Look at all that. Just ripping. Oh, look, it just folds. Honestly, whoever makes the Bondo didn't do the worst job ever, but... Oh, bond, that's just not the right way to. Huh. 
Huh. Glad we're fixing that. Alright everybody, I just started uh, picking at the Bondo just to see uh, really how much was there and uh, kind of the story of how bad the car was before, before uh, somebody fixed it. So first up we got this big hole and as you can see there, that's a, that is a healthy amount of Bondo I would say. Um, spec is supposed to be about eighth of an inch on cards, that's just kind of like the going rule. Um, but that's pretty bad and then we look up and I've just been chipping and chipping and like look at all of that That's so bad, dude There is so much bond. I mean that is That's probably a quarter inch of bondo and all of this is still bondoed. That's why that's great rust gray see that that's bondo but uh, from this line down all of this has been reshaped with bondo that's why this that's shit. I don't know who did that. That is not factory. Um, so that was just them doing the bond to work wrong. But all of this. Hear that? All of this is bondo. Bondo, bondo, bondo. All of that. So this line continues like that. And all of this has been bondoed. So I'm, I'm definitely glad to be uh, cutting all this out. And getting rid of it because that is just horrible so I got uh I got the marks marked out on the quarter panel don't pay attention to this that's old but uh I just drew it on the paint because uh, I'm gonna paint the whole car anyways I don't really care uh, but yeah gonna cut below it a little bit just to make sure uh, I don't take too much better to cut away than add metal and then uh, really I'm interested to see how much Bondo we get off. Alright, I cut a tiny bit inside of my line. Now I'm just peeling the fender back. Uh, you can see some junk in there. That's typically why these panels rot. Stuff gets in there, it gets wet and it stays wet. And, and then it's pretty much gone from there. But you can see in there that's all somewhat decent. But yeah. Uh, this is still connected to that inner wheelhouse there, so uh, I'm just trying to free it up from that right now. And then uh, this will be off, and then I can cut to my actual line. Make sure, double check it obviously before I cut it, and then uh, hopefully everything fits. Um, I'm hoping to not have to patch anything on the inside, but chances are I will. I don't know if I need to go get some sheet metal today or or what, but. I'm gonna get this panel off and then uh, we'll take a look and make a decision, but uh, I will have to get metal at some point for the trunk pan, so we'll see. Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think metal turns to powder when you cut it. So I got a fan blowing that out right now because it literally just got everywhere. Mondo, baby. All right, everybody, I kind of lied to you a little bit the first time. Um, this is a lot of Mondo. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's the original fender right there. Here's the new fender, they made it out of Bondo. So, pretty glad to be getting rid of that. There's inside there, but uh, here is a piece that is literally all Bondo that I just cut out. No, no metal in here. It's quite a lot. Whoever, uh, whoever did this job Hopefully it's not a body man anymore. Everybody, so I got some soft spots on the inside here. See how it's flexing like that? All of this, all the way around up, up here. Um, I'm gonna cut it off and then, uh, not the right thing to do, but I got uh, sheet metal off the other fenders and then the sheet metal I cut off, this is still good, no Bondo. So I'm gonna cut this up and, and patch this in, mainly because you'll never see it again, but um, 
I, I don't want to leave it like that. That's not the right thing to do. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this out, patch it in with these uh, panels I have here. This one's going to take a little more uh, metal work than, than this one, obviously, but um, I'm not really that experienced with sheet metal work, so this is kind of a good, uh, a good thing to practice on right here. All right, I got that patch panel in. Uh, not going to get too close because uh, it's some pretty mediocre work, but replaced that panel right here that was all rotten out and uh, all I did was use the piece I cut off the quarter panel out there and uh, yep a little better than what it was but uh, I'm gonna paint it maybe throw some uh, body sealer on it and then uh, keep moving all right this is where I'm gonna stop for tonight here's my new panel ready for tomorrow uh, I gotta cut a little bit more to my line and then uh, hopefully that'll fit nice and snug. Um, that patch panel is painted and drying right now. And uh, probably going to attack the wheelhouse tomorrow because that's going to need done. And uh, hopefully start welding that, but we'll see. Um, I do need to go get body sealer in the morning and seal up all of the uh, places I'm going to patch, all the little holes. And after that, I'm going to make sure all this is painted real nice before that goes on because likely that'll never be seen again if I do that right. So that's where we are and I'll see you guys tomorrow.